Okay, we have the queen on our side, and we're actually sort of set up to marry her in order to secure not only her position on the on the throne to continue ruling the Ferelden in a way that's, say, competent, but also to possibly ensure that she doesn't betray us later on, because we're basically linking her fate to our own. I shall do it. Very nice. Okay, the alienage was closed before, and here we're As able to get into there now. Let's check this place out. Won't let me in. There we go. Okay, we can travel to the el the elven alienage. Anytime now. Okay, there we go. Okay. Alienage culture. Codex entry. Instead of reading that kind of stuff, I'll just give you a quick rundown on what this is all about. See, elves, as I mentioned in many previous episodes, occupy in Ferelden society and pretty much the entire world. Occupy a position of being, let's call them second class citizens. While owning elves as slaves is still legal in the Tervinter Empire, which is far to the north, the rest of the world pretty much sees elves as being just sort of lesser people. Remember that guy that we let out of prison said elves occasionally get to the point where they start thinking of themselves as people, as opposed to, oh, they're just elves. As a result, I mean, this is a result of a long-ass time ago when humans first arrived into this part of the world. The Tervinter Empire, which was the, the like, essentially the founding human civilization, fought a war against the elves. It was a long time ago, and... Well, the elves ended up losing that war. And ever since that point, they were essentially conquered and remain in this sort of depraved state perpetually. Now, uh, uh, although slavery is, of elves is no longer legal in the majority of the world, people still don't look upon elves as being particularly equal. And in although I kind of doubt it, because you do see elves outside of the alienage. It seems to imply that the alienage is the place where elves are legally allowed to live. Now, it's said that it's done for two reasons. One, keep the damn elves out of the humans' business. Keep the elves away from humans. Essentially, some sort of form of segregation. Also, it's mentioned that it's also for the safety of the elves, because people see elves sometimes they want to go and just like, oh, it's an elf. I'm going to go bash its head in. That kind of thing. So all the elves were herded into these. Uh, we're not going to be mobbed, right? That's not something elves do here. Mob people. Hmm. The elves have to live in these ghettos. They're all forced to live in cramped conditions. Very little in the way of work for these people to basically... Uh, make a living, so crime is, like, ridiculously rampant in these areas. It's one of the most dangerous places of the city. Spare a silver for a war veteran? Where'd you get injured, soldier? Ostagar. Darkspawn took off half my foot. Uh, I'll give you a sovereign. Hope this can get you off the street. Oh, Andraste, bless you, sir. I won't forget your face. No, I won't. I can't... I don't remember if that's going to end up coming back to help you. So he lost a foot, but it looks like he has two. <laughs> anyway, this kind of messed up condition. Feral dog. It looked feral to me. Ah, damn it. <laughs> yeah, uh, these people are kind of living not quite the most glamorous of lives. But still, oftentimes these elves are given the choice between living this life and living the life of, say, the Dalish elves living off in the woods and having a more nomadic existence. A lot of them would still choose to live here because this is pretty much what they've known. Unwise. When that falls, it will take out no fewer than three houses. What's that? The tree? What are we talking about?
But I think it's mostly because the elves have become so accustomed to generation after generation after generation of living in these kinds of conditions that they've this is basically all they know and they're not willing to. They don't really understand anything other than that. Andraste's grace. I think that's a gift I can give to Liliana. Thank you so much. Yes, how dear of me. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go home. The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We will help as many as we can today, so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like Valendrian and my Uncle Sirian, you helped them, didn't you? Help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? What's going on? What's wrong, Shen? Did you get bored and decide to come watch the elves die of plague? These foreigners say they're here to help with our outbreak of plague. Funny thing, though, all the people they help disappear. That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got the Tevinter spell cast on them, and they're fine. Where's your niece, then? And my Uncle Sirian, and Valendrian? Slow down. Just tell me what's happening here. These foreigners have taken dozens of elves into that house over the last few weeks, and none of them have been seen again. One of them was our Hiren, Valendrian. And I don't know what we're going to do if we don't get him back. I think I'll go take a look inside the hospice. They won't just let you in. I wasn't going to ask. Well, just be careful. Those men are mages. I've killed quite a few mages in my time. I ask you to stand back. Some of these people are carrying the plague. The alienage is not safe for visitors. There's plague here. For your own safety, we must ask you to leave now. You've already been told to leave. Hold. This place is full of plague victims. No one enters. Can I help? We have the situation in hand. I want to see someone in there. It is not safe. You would be exposed to the plague. Can't I get this protection spell these elves are getting? There's no need. The elves must live here where the plague is spreading. You can avoid the sickness merely by leaving the alienage. It would be a waste of our mage's strength when many need it more. Get out of my way or I'll go through you. To arms! Protect the hospice! Oh, this got on my hand. Why is this elf helping? Shit. Someone else around here needs to kill him. As you say. These men were from Tervinter, and that's the empire I spoke of a little bit earlier. Uh, why exactly they're welcome Shall here? I don't know. Who gave them authorization to even be Very in the well. city? Tervinter is not particularly well liked among the rest of the world, mostly because for a couple of reasons. One, they still permit slavery in the form of elves. Even people 
who don't like elves still don't like the concept of slavery. Uh, maybe I should talk to this guy. He looks like he's up to something. Also, uh, Tervinter is largely blamed for the existence of the Blight. Is someone there? Make us blessing to you, child. Be not afraid. I still have some sight to see you by. What happened to your eyes? I appreciate your candor. Most stare. Or worse, the awkward silence. I am a Templar. I lost my sight in a battle with a powerful Malefica. He called flame from the air and burned my face. The scars have healed, but my sight will never recover. Enough small talk. How can I help you? In my time in the alienage, I've come to feel there is something sinister at work here. What exactly, I know not. It took patience, but some elves opened up to me and I've heard their sad tales. But I found no real evidence to support my fears. Ears alone have done all they can. I was hoping you could be my eyes. Look around the alienage for anything out of the ordinary. What should I look for? I don't know. I have a feeling that there is something to be found, though. You seem capable. I have hope that you will find what I seek. Make a watch over you, child. Oh, also, um, Tervinter isn't trusted very much because they have a very, they have a much more magical-oriented culture than the rest of the world. Whereas in Ferelden and Orle and Free Marches and all that, the concept of an, a mage is something to be feared. A mage is locked in the Tower of Magi, whichever wherever that may be, to be guarded or imprisoned by the Templars, if you will. Whereas in Treventor, while they still have some fear of mages, people can express their magical talents much more freely there. And that tends to, well, scare people. I'm for killing. For a sort of like medical missionary kind of thing. They seem to have brought a lot of soldiers with them. Ah, shipment. Very of well. course. Allow me. I could do that for you. They're taking these elves under the guise of there being a plague, and they're shipping them into slavery. Of course. Help us, please! We're not sick! Let us out of here! How do I know you're not a plague? I swear not one of us is sick. They take the sick ones out as soon as they come in. Please, help us! I'm getting you out of there. Thank you, friend. Where is Guy whose name I can't pronounce? They took him away already, through the back alley. We don't know where exactly. Should get out of here. You don't have to say that twice. Well, maybe there is a plague, but they're using the plague as uh, guys for their for their evilness. It's begun. Who grows something called death root in their garden? It's retarded. <laughs> what? Come on. At least tell me the door's locked so I can't ever get through it. If I didn't look at the map, I wouldn't have known. Hey, Elf, how you doing? Who's there? Stay away! Calm down, I just want to ask you some questions. I can't say nothing. Please, just go. I don't want trouble. Asshole is dropping a double negative there. You must have seen what's going on here. Tell me. Nothing is going on. Everything's fine. <laughs> you can't bully anything out of me. Nothing you can do is worse than being the only one left. Where... you want to wind up dead? Talk. Please.
please. I don't know nothing. I've only seen them take people away. Took them right out of their beds. Dragged them down the hallways. Baker, the little one's crying. <sighs> Where did they take everyone? Through the landlord's old office. They go in there, they never come back. What about guy whose name I can't pronounce? I saw him. They marched him through the hall with a bunch of others, all tied together like pack mules. What else have you seen? Every few days, they come back. It's like a parade, a silent one. Men and women and children. You have to go. They'll be back soon. They'll find out I talked and they'll take me too. Please, just go. Looks like I got me some more Treventors to kill. Yeah, because that was something I needed. Allow me. I could do that for you. There's just a bunch of people to kill in there. Alright. <laughs> On my way. Very nice scale armor. Very well. It shall be done. What's this? Another shipment already? We weren't. Wait. You're no Tavinta. Who are you supposed to be? I'm here to relieve you. Weren't true told? What? No, you're not. There's nobody relieving us until midnight. Quick, get them, hurry! Ugh, come on. Ah! You know you assholes would survive this if you just let me go. I've never seen a barrel I haven't wanted to root through. What is the meaning of this? We were told that there would be no interference from the authorities. I'm not with the authorities. Oh? An errant group of do-gooders, then? You will regret this, you know. Believe it or not, we've been given dispensation to do our business here. You Ferelden's talk a great deal about how very wrong slavery is. But isn't it funny how quickly the smell of gold overcomes such ideals? You're an elf. How can you be part of this? So I should feel kinship for these sheep? Don't be a fool. I am Tevinter first and a servant of the Minrathu Circle second. Those are the things that matter. You can't just take people from their homes and... and sell them. It's despicable. But enough. I am here to halt your slaughter, nothing more. Step aside or be my next victim. I am no fool. I can see that you are capable. So be it. I will let Caladrius deal with you while I fetch the Regent's men. I suggest you leave while you still can. Trap right ahead. Well, so I should have killed right her. Ahead. Right away. Ooh, a weapon stand. Nothing I really want, but as you say. Just so much crap I don't need. I end up selling all of it anyway. People to kill. It is begun. It, is begun. it shall be done. What the? Really? Oh, come on.
I am Caladrius, and you, I assume, must be the Grey Warden I've heard so much about. You've heard of me. One can hardly get a word out of the Regent besides Warden these days. It's surpassed even gold in popularity. How do you know, Logan? Yes, you would be curious about that, wouldn't you? I've heard that you're trying to erode Logan's support. It must be a difficult task, yes, it's like washing away a mountain. Perhaps you could use some help. Oh, this should be good. Sarcasm is beneath us both, my dear Warden. Truth be told, there was always a limit to how long we were going to be able to operate here. We've paid for many of Logain's troops, but once the lands meet is done, we become inconvenient. So, here is my offer. One hundred sovereigns from you for a letter with the seal of the Terran of Guaren upon it, implicating him in all of this. Then, we leave a few days earlier than planned with our profits and remaining slaves unharmed. I feel dirty. We're not considering this, are we? So, do we have a deal? Even you must admit it's much better than resorting to barbarism, yes? I have a counteroffer. Interesting. My offer is this. I kill you, take everything for free. Oh, a comedian. <sighs> Let's settle this the hard way, then. We must not exhaust our supplies. Yeah. Ah, of course, this is the way. <laughs> Never settle anything with words when you just chop someone's head off. Start attacking someone. Don't just wander around the idiot. Now, of course, I do have to watch out for Stan. He doesn't have a terribly good armor and I have no mage to heal him, so I'm gonna have to keep up on the, the manual healing on this. Ah, he's not freezing so See, now here we have uh, an example of a provincial mage that is someone who's held and within some level of regard in provincial society. He's actually ruling over most other people in civilization would not really stand for that kind of thing because he is a mage. That's standard. But the battle's pretty much ours already. Enough! Enough! It seems your reputation is an accurate one. I surrender. I suggest you come up with a new offer. Fast. Were I to use the life force of the remaining slaves here, I could augment your physical health a great deal. Allow me to leave this place alive, and I would be more than happy to do this little service for you. So, is my offer of interest to you, yes? No, it isn't. Uh, then, um, uh, I don't suppose you would consider just uh, letting me go? No, I don't suppose I would. Ah. Well, that is a shame, isn't it? Bring well. down the water! He's damn near dead, anyway. <laughs> You don't look like a Tevinter. Not that it means much. Are you one of them? What happens to us now? Who are you? I'm Valendrian, the alienage Haren. Why would the slavers take an old man? I wouldn't have thought I was worth anything either. 
but apparently the Tevinters have a market for storytellers. You're free to go. Or you're free now. Free? How strange to hear that word in here. We will not trespass long on your good graces. Come, everyone. Let's go home. Ah, it's you. Welcome. Please come in. Tell me, how is Duncan? You know Duncan? He's been a friend of mine for many years, yes. From the look on your face, I take it the news is bad. <sighs> he died in Austria. I am sorry to hear that. I knew that the Warden suffered great losses at Ostagar, but a few escaped. I, I had hoped Duncan might be one of them. What will you do about the plague now? We've been through outbreaks of pestilence during the war with Orle. We'll endure. I doubt very much now that the Tevinter intervention would have helped us anyway. How do you know Duncan? He came here, now and then, to look for potential recruits. Perhaps that seems strange to you, but Duncan was a man who knew that talent could emerge in the most unlikely places. I should go. Please, take this. Duncan gave it to me years ago. I suspect you'll put it to better use than I would. Okay. He's got some nice stuff on him, but I have the slaver documents. They incriminate Logan. That's exactly what I needed. Got what I want. Time to leave.